Good evening, crafting friends. I'm Doreen DeSivas from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and welcome to Fun Fold Friday on this at least beautiful flight Friday in um, southwestern New Hampshire. Um, it's just been such a gorgeous day today, and the temperatures that we had last week that were so warm have really um, kind of cooled back to normal um, temperatures. So thank you for joining to me tonight, whether you are joining me on the Facebook Live or on the replay or on my YouTube channel. I appreciate you and thank you for being part of um, my crafting world. So tonight we are going to be making a triple panel slide and lock fun fold. This is the one I showed you on Sunday night's um, video fun on Simply Stamping Sunday. I used the Zinnia um, Designer Series paper to make this card. And this card, oops, I have it upside down. Let's get it the right way. This card opens up like this, so it has this. It's a thick card, so it's popping up a little bit. But when you open it up, you get a surprise on the inside with more designer series paper and then there's even a better supply oh i am upside down uh, even a better surprise you get another pop-up card on the inside so this was such a fun card to make at my stamping retreat that i was um at that i decided um to make another one that we were shown. So this design is not my own. It's from the online stamping retreat. And I'm using the Friends for Life um, stamp set. And this card opens the same way. Oops, oops, I got something stuck. Putting my little thing on. Let me just get that off. I should have known that was gonna happen. There we go. So let's pull that up as part. And we're using this fabulous designer series paper that just adds, I mean, the color is just so great. And when you open it up, the um, inside I have matching the inside panels as well. As well. So this is a very um, cool card um, to make. So in this one, I actually put the panels on the right-hand side. This one, I put the panels on the left-hand side. So you can do it either way. It works both ways. So let's talk about what I'm using here um, for this card. Um, I'm, as I said, I'm using the Friends for Life um, bundle. It is from the Full of Life Suite. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is found on page 43. And this Full of Life Suite comes with the Friends for Life stamp set, the um, dies that go along with it, the iridescent ribbon, and the iridescent um, gems, and this fabulous full of life um, designer series paper. So um, it's the bundle, if you want it all, it costs $82.50 in the United States, and um, it is just such a fun um, bundle. So let me just go over... Um, so this is a photopolymer stamp set. It has a few stamps in it for images and some stamps that can make some ink color on the, you know, the background. And so we have some words, a gigantic friend, best is pretty big and high. And then we have happy birthday, so excited for you. Thank you for being a love you, miss you, wishes, thinking of you. And then the dies that come along with it, let me just stamp some extra, cut out some extra hearts today. Um, the dies that come with it are um, this heart here, and there's an outline so that you can cut out the, um, the heart and not just have it as it showed in the catalog as a cutout you know, on a piece of paper. Um, four hearts here, a vine here, a leaf here, um, a, just a kind of what looks like a torn piece of paper and two friend outlines. All right, so what are we, oh, and the last thing before I get on to what we're doing for cardstock is um, this is the Full of Life Designer Series paper and it 
it um, coordinates with a lot of colors. Balmy Blue, Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Daffodil, Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Lemon Lime Twist, Mellow Mamba, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Pumpkin Pie, Real Red, Shaded Spruce, and Shy Shamrock. So um, let me show you the different designs so you can get an idea of what this paper looks like. I wasn't, when I first saw the catalog, this wasn't one of my first suites I looked at. Um, and it really has been seeing this paper in use that has really um, sold it on me, sold me on it. So we have a variety of um, different designs using all of the different colors. And then on the back side, there is an ombre or a variety of different colors being used in um, that design. So this is one of the pieces we're going to use today. I chose it because it has the Blackberry Bliss in it and that's the color I wanted to use. And then the back of it again has some variation in color. We have some dots. It looks like they've been painted on top of each other. And then the back again, some of that variation. This is one of those what I guess I'm going to call a starburst and this is the one that I'm using tonight. You can cut it any way you want to have that starburst be part of the center. And look at the back, it's so pretty. Now we have some um, of the different greens and another beautiful background. On this one, the squares are a little bigger. If I compare it to the first one, you can see how small the squares were in that one. Compared to this one, we get a larger um, view and another beautiful ombre of color in the back here. Here's another one that is just like the paper I'm using today, but a different color. And then we have the beautiful background. Another sky burst using those greens with a blending of a little blue. That one's so pretty. Now the dots that we had earlier were smaller, so you can see we're using the same, they're using the same design but just changing the size of the elements on the designer series paper. And here is the background. Another set of squares, a little bit bigger, and another beautiful background. We're going to use this background, and we're going to use this one too, just so pretty. And our last starburst that has more of a rainbow of colors and then a beautiful rainbow of colors on the background. The, the worst thing about this designer series paper is that both sides are so beautiful, it really makes it hard to decide which side of the designer series paper you're gonna focus on. So let's put that aside and talk about the cardstock that we're gonna use tonight. So I'm gonna use Blackberry Bliss. This is such a rich and vibrant color. Um, it's one that I just love to pieces and I haven't used it for so long. So this is a great um, project to use it on. So you need um, basically a piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock that is cut into two pieces of um, five and a quarter, five and a, excuse me, five and a half by eight and a half. So you need that. Then on a second piece of the designer series paper, you're going to need a piece that measures, <clears throat> excuse me, um, let me just find it. Um, and we're going to be um, scoring this one as well. So these three will need to be scored. You're then going to need a piece of the Blackberry Bliss that measures four inches by four inches. And then you're gonna need two pieces of Blackberry Bliss that measures four by one and three quarter. So that is all the Blackberry Bliss you're gonna need. For the designer series paper, I am using four different designs. So this is one of the designs. This is the second design. This here Oh, here we go. So this is the first, second, 
Here's another design that I'm using. And then I'm using this um, design. So I have all the measurements for you, but let's just get started with what we have here. So this piece here is three and a quarter by five inches. This piece here is also three and a qu three quarters by five inches. These two pieces um, here are one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And these two pieces are also one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. This piece here is four by four. And then these last two pieces are um, four by one and three quarters. So those are um, the designer series paper. Then you're going to need a scrap of, I'm using the metallic silver paper, um, the textured metallic paper. And then I'm using a piece of three and three quarters by five inches of basic white. And then I have a piece that I'm gonna be stamping on and um, die cutting this. So I'm gonna actually start with the stamping. And let's just grab. So I'm going to be using Blackberry Bliss ink, and I'm going to be using the friend stamp from this stamp set. So let's just open this up. This is all the stamping we're going to do on this card. So we're just going to make a nice big greeting for the front of the card. So I am going to stamp this right onto this rectangle of cardstock. It stamps really nice and um, bold. So we have this nice bold image. I'm going to set that aside and through the magic of TV I have die cut that image with the die that is part of the bundle. So I'll set that aside. I'm going to put my Blackberry Bliss ink away so that I don't get it on something that I don't want. And then the next thing that I've done through the magic of TV is I've cut out this heart and I've cut out some of the smaller hearts. So I'm just gonna set these aside to be used later on and I'll set this piece aside. I do wanna show you real quick how I cut out the heart and I'll show you those pieces. So what I did was I took both of these hearts. This heart here, the larger one, all it does is um, cuts out on a piece of paper the inside of this heart. So you end up with a beautiful heart piece that has been die cut. But to get it to cut out um, in a full heart like this, you are going to need to use both pieces. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to place this over the heart so that it's centered. And then what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to do it the other way because it will make more sense in just a minute to you. So I'm going to make sure that is nicely centered and then I'm going to take a piece of my post-it note tape and I am going to just tape it over these two dies so that when I put this on my cardstock it's going to keep these um, together the way I want them and what you're going to get once you've done that is you're going to get the outside heart which is supposed to be broken like this. So this isn't a mistake or anything. This is how it will be um, cut. And then you'll have this heart too. So I'm just gonna leave this over to the side and we'll get back to our project. So that's just a hint on how to use those dies. So I am gonna start with some in, um, scoring. So I'm going to get my scoreboard out. And I'm going to be scoring these three pieces. 
So I just want to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So these two pieces that measure um, five and a half by eight and a half, I am going to be scoring at four and a quarter. So I'm going to score the first one, and then I'm going to score the second one. And then I'm going to do one more score, and I'm only going to do this on one side. doesn't matter which side, but I'm going to score this at two and an eighth. And I'm going to score this one at two and an eighth. Remember, don't worry about um, writing all these measurements down as you're doing, as you're watching. I am going to post all of this in the comments, and it will be posted in the description on YouTube. So on this piece, which measures um, ten and a half by, I think, ten and a half by four, I am going to score this at five and a quarter. All right, all of our scoring is done. So this is a great fold, but it doesn't have a lot of scoring. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I get a really nice crease. Anytime you're doing a fun fold, you really want your creases um, to be done really well. And I'm just going to add what I need to the front of this card on this piece here. This is the inside of the card. So I'm going to need these three pieces. And they all, remember, measured the same, um, the same size. They measure um, three and three quarters by five. So I'm going to start by putting my piece of basic white on the inside. Just going to make sure I'm going to center this as I'm putting it in. There we go. And then on the top, I'm going to be adding this piece so that we have a nice um, view also from the top when you open it. So we will put this right here. And then on the front, we're going to be adding this piece. I could add more to this, um, to the front, um, but it it's the inside piece, so I'm going to leave it like this. But what I am going to do is I am going to add some of the hearts. Now, I don't know if you noticed that when this was cut out, the heart has a little bit of an edge here. Let me make sure you can see that. Um, what I'm going to do with these edges is I'm going to actually just cut them off for this card. So I'm going to just cut that and make it be a point. I'm not going to cut my little, little one, but I am going to cut this larger one to do the same kind of point. The And this one I could do too. It has a little bit. I'm not going to do the really tiny one. It doesn't have much of a point at all. Okay. So now this larger point um, heart is going to go... All three of these parts are going to go on the inside of this part of the card. I'm going to add the largest one here. I'm going to use glue for these two because they're just a wee bit smaller. There we go. So this one is going to go in the upper left. There we go. So the inside has the has the silver metallic um, hearts inside. Okay, so this piece is done. I'm going to set that aside. And now I'm going to do my scoring on these cards. So I'm going to fold at the four and a quarter mark and use my bone folder. And then I'm going to take 
I want to open this so this fold is on the front and I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it back like this. I don't know if I, I did not score that right. So I'm gonna fix it. So I am just gonna take my edges and come right up here. We're gonna be covering it all with paper. But I obviously, this one did not score right. So what I want this to be is halfway. Um, so we're just going to fix that. So it is, and like I said, this is going to be all covered. So I'm opening it up like it's a Z fold, but it's not going to remain just a Z fold. Okay. So that's much better. And let's do the same for this. And this one looks like I did score it correctly, so we won't have an issue like we did with the last one. Now what I'm going to do is face these cards so that the Z fold is on opposite sides. And on this card here, I'm going to be adding some adhesive to the back because I am going to attach these two cards. So I'm going to open this up and put them so that the back sides line up. And now we have a card that folds like this. You're going to have a little space in between the cards, so don't worry if that happens, that's okay. So now all I need to do is start putting on all of my panels. So I'm going to start with the outer panels. And so I'm just going to add my adhesive. And put one, center this and put one here, and the other one on the other side after I add some, a new refill. I took all my extra um, stamp and seals to school today because I'm having my, um, advisory make journals and we're having such a fun time decorating them but we are using a lot of stamp and seal to do so um so i don't have extra ones to just grab because i forgot to bring them back okay there we go so let's there we go get it started I think I have too much adhesive here. It's catching. Get this back on track. I don't know if you have to do this with yours. I seem to always get a little bit of adhesive that gets right on the edges here and if I don't take it all off I will find that I'll have some issues with um, the stamp and seal um, sticking. So sometimes you do have to take it apart um, to fix that. So let me make sure I just turn that the right way because I think I didn't. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's moving now. Sorry about that little delay. And this one is going to go 
on the outside, the other outside edge. And then these two pieces are going to go on the inside. Okay, I'm not going to fight that. We're just going to use some glue. When one thing doesn't work, just go to the next. So I'm just going to add, remember when you're using the liquid glue, you do less is more. You don't need to put um, gas glue. So this is going to go on one inside panel. And this one's going to go on the other. So you're getting lots and lots of color um, add, using this paper adding to the um, front of the card. And you can make this card look really different too because of all of the colors that it coordinates with. And you just don't want to stick your fingers to it. All right. So now this side is going to go on. The one advantage to the liquid glue is that you can be moving things along. So there's now the front of that section. And we open to those two panels. Now I'm going to take this piece and do the same thing and add my liquid glue to it. Again, I'm just going to go down the sides and the middle make sure I cover it but I don't put too much on make sure I am holding it the right way and then we will just center this and just give it a nice little firm push down okay so that's the inside of the card now we're going to finish up by putting um, this piece we're gonna to give it the strength it's going to need to be the locking mechanism for our card I'm the reason we had a 4x4 four four designer series paper and 4x4 four four, um, piece of cardstock is because these are going to go on top of each other so I am just going to move them in place make sure they're where I want them to be and just press that down and then the last thing we need to glue is these panels so these are our locking mechanism So make sure these are centered. This one's not quite, but we can move it because of the glue. And our last one still does not look centered. Okay, we're going to add glue here. For this last one all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to choose whichever side we want to glue this on so it's going to go on either <coughs> excuse me um, the right side or the left side it doesn't matter and then what I'm going to do is um, show you how to attach the last piece so I'm only going to put the glue on one side so I'm going to do this on the right so I'm just going to kind of put it in the corner 
So a little bit of the designer series paper is showing and just press that down. And then I am going to do the same thing right over here and just put the glue on one side And in the same place, I am going to, in the same way, with a little bit of designer series paper showing, I'm going to add that. Okay. Now we have this piece to add. To do this, we only want adhesive to go right in this spot here. So I am going to add my adhesive while the card is closed. I don't want it to get under the panel above it. And I am going to have this be like this. I am going to line it up where I want it to be. So it's even top to bottom and side to side. And I'm going to just press down in that one area to adhere it. So it's going to slide open like that, and it's going to slide back like that. And remember, just add the adhesive to this little space in the middle. So we have it opening up fine, everything's attached fine. So now let's decorate the front. So I'm going to close this back up. It does pop up a little bit until it gets used to being closed. So we have our friend piece and we have our heart that we're going to be adding. So what I'm going to do with the heart first is I'm just going to go around with my liquid glue. Um, this is something I would definitely recommend using the liquid glue for. Um, so you can get little dots of glue all throughout the heart and around the edges without... Um, having adhesive everywhere. I know you can't see the adhesive that I'm putting on because I'm putting on such a little bit that and it's white on white so you're just not going to see that. And this is going to go right at the top of this section and I'm just going to hold my hand down on it for a moment just to get uh, the glue to start adhering. By using the little tiny bit of glue, um, I also um, get, um, I don't get a lot of glue seeping out. So that's a good thing too. For my, let me just find my right Um, glue dots. I want to use the mini on this part and I thought I had some out. Let me get, a, get some from my drawer. Sorry about that. I have to open a new package. Glue dots are something I, I mean not glue dots, um, stamping um, dimensionals are something I always keep on hand. So I'm going to use my take a pick tool. It grabs them right in the wide spaces of my words. I just want to be remember to be careful about how far I go down with 
um, these so that I don't have them hanging over um, the edge like I did on that first one. There's no set amount that you need. I just try to have them evenly spaced. And if I need to cut a piece off, I do. Like on this one, because it's just a little too um, close. So I'm gonna take these off. I didn't pull out any bling or um, ribbon for this card because I felt with the silver, the metallic silver, it just um, it just looks so sharp. It's a real dark silver, so it just kind of absorbs some of that um, color from the Blackberry Bliss. And then I am going to put. make sure we don't have the same problem on the bottom here and I'm going to put this right under the heart and there we have it tonight's fun full Friday I love this card can you see how the the silver just shines in the light so to open it you just pull it apart like this and you have room to write a message on the inside here if that's not big enough you could always put a panel on the back here to have more room. So, two, let's just close that. So that is the one I made and here's the one I showed um, last week. So I hope you've enjoyed this fun fold. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, next week, I'm going to be showing you another one I learned at the retreat. I've had a request to make I think at least three of them so far so I will be making those for you and um, I hope that um, you join me next Friday so that's it for tonight for Fun Fold Friday I will be back next Friday night for another edition of Fun Fold Friday and I will be back Sunday night for another edition of of um, Simply Stamping Sunday. It's a new month, so that means a new stamp set. And um, for those of you who are in my Facebook private group, um, Card Making Fun, um, I will be going live Monday night to show you all the ins and outs about embossing paste. So if you want to see that and are not part of my Facebook group, then um, let me know and I will send you the link to join. Take care, everyone. Good night. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.